none of this is fine. You were nearly killed tonight. I met some inspiring people out here. I made some new friends. I made a kind of pact. Who are you? You can call me Bane. Bruce, this is the lady I was telling you about. Harley Quinn. Guns, money, biotech. What are they planning? We won't know until we get to Bane. I don't mean to cause offense, but you're in no shape to beat the information out of that monster. Riddler said his friends abandoned him at the Lady of Dublin. He alluded to the fact that John Doe was one of them. If that's the case, then John can get you close to the others. Tiffany. I told you I'd find out what you got my dad mixed up in. What's going on here, Bruce? Your father worked with Batman. That's... Hey, now! Welcome to our little hideaway and home away from home. The end of the line. We're pulling a job tonight. I want you to be a part of it. Waller, where are you? Waller here. Let them have it, Wayne. What are you talking about? The package. Let them have it. It's not worth my agent's lives. You can't be serious. You were supposed to be here. Hurry! Need to leave now! <laughs> Fine. Forget you. Riddler will open the path to us once the thief brings the last piece. I'll open any path for the right price. I wear the mask in order to protect this city. But when faced with a new breed of criminals calling themselves the Pact, the direct approach was met with disaster. I had to don a different mask. As Bruce Wayne, I infiltrated their ranks. The plan was to get in, set the trap, and get out. But the plan failed. Now they're one step closer to their goal. And all I have are questions. What is the pact really after? Why steal Riddler's body? Friend or foe? Nice place you got here. Did it come with the vermin? Or did you add that yourselves? This everyone? Riddler mentioned Harley. Miss Quinn is otherwise occupied. Our crossing the river stinks. We are the entirety of our cabal at the moment. Oh, this gentleman was someone we picked up after Riddler's departure. Bruce Wayne. Bruce, was it? Charmed. Be gentle. This is Mr. Wayne's first foray into the field of felonry. Now, Chante. Oh, I didn't know this party was so formal. Enough pleasantries. You have the device. Excellent. Harley said your gems were in her safe. If she fails to return, you can pester John. He knows the code. It's fine. We can start. Oh, well, let's get to... What are we doing? Well... We're going to extricate the body. Riddler built a secret back door into the security system of his old employer. I need to scan his eyes and then create a retinal key for them. Then I'll use the key to make goggles, and we can open whatever doors he could. Help me lift. This wasn't the original plan. He was supposed to be alive, but things change. Get his head in a good position. That's far enough. Dig the plates under his lids. Press the button and scan away. Ugh, that's gross. What 
the hell did they do to him? And what's with the refrigerator coffin? Why would the agency transport him like this? This doesn't add up, Bruce. Bruce, I'm sorry about Lucius. I'm guessing it wasn't a gas leak or whatever the news said. You're right. Riddler killed him. But it was meant for me. Damn it, Bruce. I'm... This isn't all on you. On to the next. I didn't know what I'd be walking into with this group, but I certainly didn't expect it to involve you. And I know you're no stranger to peril, but you shouldn't be here. So, what gives? I wouldn't exactly say I'm part of the team. Also, the sky is blue. Now you say another obvious thing. This is the game we're playing, right? Whatever your plan was, it must have gone horribly awry for you to end up here like this. You're not the only one with questions. One question. Make it fast. How did you get involved with these psychopaths? Ran into Harley once or twice, but I knew Riddler. He tried to bring me in before... Well, before someone here probably killed him. Have we concluded? Two eyes in the can. Excellent work. Then we can... <gasps> She's back! Sorry I'm late. Traffic was murder. Stand it! You were there, and, and I was here. I was on my way. Well, I was getting to get on my way. Look! I, I put on shoes. Oh, thanks, Puddin'. You would have had a blast if you were with me. Mm. And how about this one? Did you miss me, sugar? Well, John was beside himself. Was? I'd say still is. So I got one question for you. If you missed me so much, why the hell did you let them leave me behind? Since Big Bad Bane's plan almost got one of our most valuable members killed today, we're having a change in management. What the hell? So speak up if there are any objections. We can hash this out in a reasonable manner. Hurry! This one's actually got some brains! <laughs> Everyone else better be smart, too! You! <gasps> ah, ah, ah! You are a means to an end when this is over. Did it occur to any one of you people that the job we just pulled went sideways a little too quick? I think they knew we were coming, because a little rat told them. Bane was right to beat up his guy before we left to hit the convoy. He just beat up the wrong one. Since he couldn't deliver, I'm taking over the case. And I'm not gonna let whoever it is stop me from getting what I want. This leak... It almost got me killed. So now, no one moves, no one breathes without my say-so. Cause I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. And whoever it is, is gonna find their inside suddenly al fresco. That make you nervous, Bruce? What do you have to say? You're quietly thinking about betraying me? Or wet? Stop way! Excuse me, peanut gallery! You got something to say? Wayne pulled his own out there. Saw it with my own two eyes. I ain't gonna let a good effort go unnoticed. Then, let's get back to work! 
If anyone else has any issues with the New World Order, my door is always open. <laughs> Lead us to our prize, and all will be forgiven. Wayne, come here a second. Thanks for vouching back there. Hey, it's tough in the trenches. Hey, we gotta look out for one another. Otherwise... Hiya, Bruce. Guess you're clear. For now. Because apparently you're so capable. I got an errand for you. I know just about everything about Riddler's plan. But he kept one card close to his chest. The location of the job. Took the secret to his grave. Now I got his laptop. But look at this. And keep your yap shut. Can't let any of these mooks sense weakness. It's encrypted! It's like he knew not to trust any of us. <laughs> Go figure. Maybe you should call IT. I don't know whether to laugh or hit you so hard your eyeballs fall out. Riddler had a beef with his former employers, who were cooking up some very dangerous and super fun stuff at a black site lab somewhere here in Gotham. And what is it we're after, this super fun stuff? You ask a lot of questions, you know that? I've been able to piece together most of his plan, except where the black site is. You're gonna find the location. And when you do, Maybe you'll get a treat. A sweet, delicious little treat. You're asking me to do something with little or no information to go on. And when I asked you for some kind of clarification, you dodge. Bruce, did you see what just happened? I'm in charge here. That means when I ask you to bring me something, you deliver it. No questions asked. See, I ain't letting this laptop out of my sight until I clear up this mole problem. So, I want you to head over to Riddler's place and do some digging. I might need some help. That place is full of death traps. Take John with you. Just don't get him hurt. That's my job. Road trip? With Bruce? I mean... Actually, I was thinking Catwoman. After all, she knew him. Mm, good points. Take a two. I'll grab some snacks. <laughs> What's that guy's story? Cat lady, are you more of a beef jerky or trumpet-shaped corn bites girl? Well, there's never a dull moment with John around. Why do I get the feeling that's not a good thing? <laughs> Who's ready to hit the road? Who are you gonna tell if you see anything that ain't on the up and up? You! But don't worry, Bruce is my best friend. He'd never betray me. Oh, sweet, innocent pudding. Friends have the easiest access to stab you in the back. Now get out of here. I call shut up. I want that black site location. I can't believe this is where he decided to set up shop. It wasn't like him to slum it. I always thought the abandoned water tower was an odd choice. I mean, the mold risk alone. We should check for traps. Who knows what Riddler did to this place? On it. Come on, John. Glad you answered. We need to talk. Listen about the convoy. We couldn't get to you safely. The EMP blast knocked out my ability to communicate with my field agents. I'm sorry. It obviously wasn't supposed to go down like that. 
Harley's crew is a threat, and they are moving fast. Towards what? Do you know what their end goal is yet? No. No one's talking. Bruce, you are the best chance of figuring out what that is. Well, now they have Riddler's body. It was cryogenically frozen. By the agency. Bruce, this was a 60-year-old man who went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Batman. I have some very interested researchers who wanted to see what kept him ticking. Wait, wait, uh, I got the punchline wrong. Uh, let me start. It's fine, John. There's a black site. Some sort of research lab, I'm guessing. Whatever's there is what they're after. And Harley doesn't know the location. She asked me to find it. Stay put for now and maintain your cover at all costs. This is our chance to get ahead of this train. So I say, Doc, I'll have what she's having. <laughs> <laughs> It was a good thing we searched around. I noticed an old security camera and deactivated it. No telling what will come across inside. Okay, let's find a way in. Just have to get through these boards. Don't worry, I brought my key. Let me give it a shot. Uh, okay. Share and share alike is what I always say. Who's there? Don't move! Wait a minute. I know you. You're Bruce Wayne. Uh, guilty as charged. Want to explain what you're doing out here? This isn't exactly the Heights. Uh, this isn't what it looks like. It looks like you're trying to break into a crime scene. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Detective... Bullock. Detective Bullock, right. Uh, look, there's actually a very good reason for all of this. Stay right there, Jerkwad. I'm calling this in. I've been asked to report any suspicious activity around here, and you're acting suspicious. Oh, come on now, Detective. We can work this out, just the two of us. I disagree. Bruce freaking way. Unbelievable. I'd even be working it if I didn't eat the extra dough. Maybe this will make me look good with the boss. Oh, sure, sure. O overtime, right? Well, maybe... Maybe I can help with that? I'm not that kind of cop. No, 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 of course not. Of course not. This... This benefits both of us. Here, here. It's everything I got on me. Just hang up the phone, and it's yours. <laughs> Try not to die in there. I do not want this coming back on me. Come on, let's get moving. a little warmth. Huh, sounds like you knew a very different Riddler than the one I met. I wish he'd never come back to Gotham. Me too. There's hope for everyone. I don't think any of us are beyond reach. <laughs> I know we've just met, but somehow I knew you'd say that. <gasps> you knew him best. Where do you think he'd keep any info on what we're after? 
Well, not to state the obvious, but it's probably behind a riddle or a puzzle somewhere. Oh, I call the downstairs bedroom. <laughs> Careful, John. This place is probably a death trap. Follow him, Bruce. I don't want John's curiosity to get us killed. I'm getting really tempted to touch something. <laughs> How many TVs does one guy need? Probably afraid he'd miss something. Hey, Bruce, I've been wanting to talk to you. Alone. You have? I don't like how cozy Catwoman was with Riddler. Because he was a killer? Because he was rude to me! We need to stick together. I don't trust this kitten one bit. You know what they say about a black cat crossing your path. Don't worry, I can handle her. Oh, really? I'm Bruce Wayne. I deal with women like her all the time. Gotta admire the ingenuity. It's a wonderful toy. It's a wonderful way to lose your hand. Well, you know what they say. Curiosity killed the cat. There's something under here. Some kind of platform. Handcart? Wonder what he was moving. Let me help you out there, Bruce. I don't want you to bend your cover bow. the second inevitably follows. You have to work hard and sleep hard in order to earn your way six feet under. What did I tell you? I suppose those are our clues to whatever Riddler is hiding in here. Work, sleep, death. A little grim. A little boring is what it is. Riddler's shoes. He didn't exactly have great fashion sense. Well, he did say something about a foot. This is where he built his boxes. <sighs> That's odd. That sounds positive. Riddler's bed couldn't look less comfortable if he tried. I take you by night, by day take you back. None suffer to have me, but do from my lack. <laughs> oh, goody. It looks like you've got both feet in the grave. You hear that? It's 
like you're standing on an elevator. I bet whatever we're looking for is down there. Maybe someone should stay up here. Keep watch. Good point. Let's go, Bruce. Sorry, cat lady. Or maybe you could stay? Oh, no. Harley gave me an assignment, and I mean to fulfill it. Uh, John, could you give us a moment? Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, gotcha! <laughs> He's... something. Charming and unnerving at the same time. So, now that we have a moment, care to fill me in? Care to tell me the real reason you're doing this? Out with it, Bruce. What's going on? I'm undercover. For yourself? <laughs> Isn't Bruce Wayne kind of always undercover? Or is it the other way around? No, yes, I'm undercover working with a group called The Agency. Partnered up with people, huh? Good to hear you've grown a bit. Sorry if I was a little rattled at the clubhouse back there. Wasn't quite ready to see your face again, but... You look good. Even with what looks like a piercing gone wrong. Not great or anything. But... good. You look great too. I didn't say great. I said good. Okay, duly noted. Now it's my turn. Why are you here? You're not really in bed with this... pact. And what if I am? Maybe I need the money. Maybe I don't. Who knows? The world's a complicated place. You're better than that. You keep saying that. You're like a broken record. Can you two get a move on? Playing guard is getting pretty boring. Just another minute. We've got it under control, John. Fine. But we've got a job to do, remember? Let's just see what this is all about. Oh, not a typical on button. <sighs> Encrypted. Just like the laptop. There must be something nearby we can use. USB drive. Here we go. Decryptor detected. Accessing Sanctus Project Lotus files. Project Lotus. Sanctus. Retinal scan required. Shit. I haven't made the goggles yet. Retinal scan. Time out. The fastest protocol enacted. The decryptor! You know what Sanctus is, don't you? I heard stories on jobs. Best I can piece together, their group up to... No good is generous. They're scary. Great. One thing's for sure. We're not getting any more info off that thing. Well, there's always Riddler's laptop. Harley still has it. The decryptor probably works with that as well. Everything okay down there? Send the lift back up. I should have come back sooner and reeled Riddler in, but I didn't. Knowing he was tangled up with Sanctus, and what he did to Lucius, this is my fault. My mess to clean up. By yourself? I can help. Why? Do I look like I need your help? You don't have the code to do what needs to be done here, Bruce. You want to do this your way? You'll have to beat me to it. What are you doing? Balancing the scales. You are not leaving here with that. Oh, honey. I'm already gone. Resourceful as 
always. Bye, Bruce. It's been fun. You've gotten rusty. You haven't gotten past me yet. Slow down a bit! You're coming out blurry! I forgot how skilled you are with your hands. <laughs> An awfully bold move, considering we just met, Mr. Wayne. This is flirting. Move, John. Harley's laptop for myself, and I'm finishing this my way. <clears throat> Harley's laptop, huh? You and I, we're going to talk somewhere else. So, John, about the laptop, um... You know, I'm the first guy who resort to stealing from anyone, anyone but her. But in a way, that almost makes it more enticing. But in another way, maybe I tell her, getting her good graces. Maybe I will. And maybe I'll do just that. Then she remember my name has an H in it. She always spells it J-O-N. Because we're friends, John. This is between us. Oh, we are friends. We are. But Harley's... Harley? I don't know, Bruce. I'm torn here. Just thinking about her makes me feel like I'm floating. She's the most intriguing creature ever to grace me with a demeaning insult. Which is great, don't, don't get me wrong. I, I, I want more, Bruce. Like you and Catwoman. I'm only a little ashamed to say that dance had my pulse pounding. What's your relationship with her? Your real one? Catwoman and I are... What we have is a little tangled up. Oh, what I wouldn't give to be that tangled up with Harley. <sighs> if only Harley saw me. Like, really saw me. The world's a crazy place, isn't it? I want Harley, and you want the laptop. Maybe we can come to an arrangement. I help you with Harley. <laughs> <laughs> I see. You're up to bat then, Wayne. What did you do to make Catwoman purr? How can I get that with Harley? How can I make her see me? You just need to be genuine. You're special, John. She just needs to see that. So... 
be myself. I hear that a lot, but how can I be myself if I don't really know who that is yet? How did you know who you are, Bruce? I've always known who I am. Something happened early on that that made me what I am today. Oh, I hope a moment like that finds me soon. It must be great to be who you're supposed to be. I can feel someone a few layers deep pacing like an animal in a cage. Just looking for something to start it. The prison break. John, whatever this is, maybe it's locked up for a reason. Your subconscious might be trying to tell you something. Uh, this is confusing advice, Bruce. Be myself, but keep my inside friend locked up. How will that allow Harley to see me? Like, really see me? It'll be fine. Trust me. How does that even work? Bond with her. Lend a hand with a problem she has. I don't know, Bruce. I have a tough time just talking to her. Oh, I've got an idea. Let's play pretend. Uh, what? You be Harley. Say something Harley would say. Bane is such a loser. Yeah? What are you gonna do to him? Snuff out his light. I don't know what she would say. Yeah, I'd kill for some front row seats to that. Okay, now say something, uh, date-like. Like we're out painting the town red. Hi, John. I like hiking. Do you like the outdoors? Boys, love me! So, so what do you think? Pretty good, right? Okay, so you're coming off just a little bit desperate. And women like that. No, none. Okay, hit me. Another. What was your favorite thing about Arkham Puddin'? For me, it was Sloppy Joe Fridays. Bruce! This is just uncanny. Okay, okay, here we go. I enjoyed the lights. They had a hum to them. Felt like a blanket. Fuzzy, even. I miss that on the outside. It, it doesn't feel as real here, you know? Out here, chaos seems to rule the day. It's loud and uneven. But you, Harley, you thrive on it. I could learn from that because I thrive on you. You're my light outside of Arkham. It's beautiful, John. She'll be eating out of your hand in no time. Y you think? I, I don't know. It, it felt weird to say. I really think I'm getting the hang of this. I'll start the next one. Your face has all the adequate face-like qualities one looks for in, uh, in a face. Harley, I lobbed you a perfect pitch. You gonna swing or what? John, sorry, something just came up. Uh, it's business. I have to run. So soon? It's, it's fine. A for effort, Bruce. I guess I won't go tattling to Harley. So, will you help me get the laptop? Gosh, Bruce. We are friends, and you're right about that. And, uh, our talk really got me fired up to find myself. My true self. Plus, your Harley is spot on. Drive a hard bargain, mister. Wait. Jeez. <laughs> okay, let me mull over the logistics. But I'm in. Meet me back at the subway when you're done with your business. And because we're pals, coffee's on my dime. Bruce?
Jim. Nicotine patch. Happy now? <laughs> Don't look so pleased with yourself. Oh, it's good you're here. The last time I fired this up, you didn't show. Had me concerned. What do you mean? The agency convoy? All those freaks were in one place, and you decide not to show? Oh, I didn't like you. You don't take time off. Waller ordered me to stand down. You're kidding! <sighs> the nerve on her! I guess I can't really talk. We got there late. And by then it was just Quinn. She still hospitalized a dozen good cops, then gave us a slip. Is that all? Uh, no. No, I... Uh, I got a favor to ask. Lucius Fox. I know he was your friend, and I don't mean to speak ill of the dead. But I think he might have been up to some shady stuff before Riddler's attack on Wayne Tower. He might not have been the man you thought. Not entirely. I knew Lucius Fox for years, Gordon. The man was a saint. On the surface, maybe. There's more to the story. Riddler targeted him for a reason. Waller shut down any investigation into the circumstances surrounding his death. And that means something stinks in Denmark. They could follow that stench all the way to Fox's employer. Look, just how much do you really know about Bruce Wayne? He's another friend. You know, for a loner, you sure seem to have a lot of friends. You might want to start choosing them more carefully. At first, I thought Fox was at the center of it all. But there's a hell of a lot more. A Wayne Enterprises security guard comes to GCPD saying he was assaulted by Harley Quinn and her gang. And who was leading her around like a pet? Bruce Wayne. Then I checked the video recordings. Someone did an amateur job covering up the security footage. Files were replaced, time unaccounted for, sloppy. And strike three? He flashes enough cash at one of my officers to get into Riddler's old workshop. Why? Bruce Wayne is dirty and he's dangerous. Waller knows all of this happened too, and she refuses to let me move on it. So I need you to bring him in. That's the favor. I can't do it, but you can. I can keep an eye on Bruce Wayne. Dennett, I'm not asking for an eye. I want him delivered, here, with a little bow. Gotham's safety is slipping out from under me and I can't stand it. I know your friend Catwoman's in town. Got a rap sheet that'll put her away for life. Maybe I can't move on Bruce Wayne, but I can move on her. I should have done this a year ago. As soon as I get back to the office, I'm sending out a task force after her. And you, you better not tell her we're coming. It sounds like he's on a warpath. If I warn Selena and she gets away, Gordon and the police will blame me. But if I don't, I put her in danger. Don't forget that you're both after that laptop. Gordon might be your best chance to slow her down. Unfortunately, we're running out of time. It's my fault Gordon is like this. I want to tell him everything, but I can't. Secrets poison relationships, Bruce. But to protect this city, to protect yourself, he can't know. You know, Miss Kyle is going to run sooner or later. It's her nature. How much can you really trust her as an ally? I know how you feel about her. Make certain you aren't letting that cloud your judgment. She already betrayed me back at the workshop. Yes, Catwoman's motives will always be suspect. 
You know what must be done. I didn't do it. Splendid. Don't go, Gordon. I've got a city to say. <laughs> Please, Jim. You have to let me in. I can't, my man. It's too much. I'm the best friend you have in Spandex or whatever my suit is. You can trust me. What if I grew a mustache for you? Batman! Hi! Hello! So, uh, John. My name's John. John Doe. You don't know me. Well, we actually did cross paths once, but, uh... What did you overhear? I, I didn't hear anything. I just got here, I swear. Oh, this is just... What a pleasure. It's so nice to finally meet you. It's just a handshake. Nice to meet you, John. Wow, quite a grip you've got there. You must squeeze a stress ball a lot. I've been waiting over a year for that moment. I'm just such a huge fan of yours. And here you are, in the flesh. <laughs> I'm looking for mentors, role models. Come across a few good candidates. You're... you're Batman! <laughs> I don't take on students. Now hold on! Before you accept, here's what I bring to the table. I can get you Riddler's laptop. All his secrets, right there! And the gang who attacked the convoy, they needed to pull off a big score. The point. So, what if... I steal it from Harley Quinn, no less, and give it to you. But, uh, and, and, this, is, and this is a big but. I, I need you to promise nothing bad will happen to Harley. I mean, letting one criminal slip through the cracks every once in a while can't be the worst thing. That depends on what she does. If she hurts innocence, then I stop her. Well, that's... You really... This is what dedication looks like, huh? Well, if I get the laptop, uh, there is no score, so win-win. Now, now, when you're on the job, what's the preferred method of extracting a target? Always repelling in, or explosives as a distraction, or... You know what? I'll wing it. If I were you, I'd get a friend to help. That's a great idea! I hope Bruce is there. He'd do anything for me. Oh, one last thing! <laughs> I collect these. They mean a lot to me. Oh, we look so cool. I mean, you're cool. Uh, I'm not... I'm not but next to you, I look cool. This is gonna look great on my wall. Thank you. Laptop, behind the stacked deck. I'll be there, promise. Hope to die. You won't be disappointed. You speak, but all I hear are lies! To dishonor yourself, Timothy. If you are the rat, then wear it proud! I would have respect for that, and with respect comes mercy. Greetings, Wayne. Come with me. As a fellow apostle of technology, I thought you might appreciate this. Vane and I were acquiring components for a device I'll need once we get to the black site. Device? Yes, an ice explosive for the fire failsafe we anticipate encountering. That isn't the impressive detail. 
As we ran into interference, I determined I would be more efficient if I made smaller versions and employed them as projectiles. Who were they? Hindrances. As you can see, it's been wildly successful. Perhaps Wayne Enterprises could benefit from my efforts. These people didn't need to die. There are other ways. Maybe you're better suited for the realm of business. The people you kill there are faceless. We live in a twisted world, Bruce. Better to abide than struggle against it in vain. One more time, my friend. Why did an alarm go off when it was your job to ensure it didn't? Bane, come on. I, I slipped up. Dangerous time to make a mistake when you knew I was looking for a mole. You're trying to slow us down! No, look, I want to get paid just like you. I got mouths to feed. Then, when the police arrived, you were nowhere to be found. I... You know I'm no traitor. I stood up for you, remember? Come on, man. We have to stand together on this. Yeah, sure. Pretty bold move. Good, yeah, yeah. Now, now why, why would I do that if I was dirty? I don't throw you to the walls to cover my ass, right? Oh, 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 a deft turn, but it's not enough to save you. In fact, your awareness of how to deceive only creates more suspicion. What the hell is going no, no, on here? No, 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 no! Merely plugging their leak. God damn it, Bane! Hey, 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 hey. Hold on. Damn it. Why are you complaining? I didn't get a chance to grill the guy. I'm a trained psychiatrist. What are you? A side of beef with a hunch? I'll find the rat, and I'll deal with it. You can't be trusted to run your men anymore. They're mine now. Got Yours? It? <laughs> I freed them from Santa Prisca! You just killed one. I only shot him. <laughs> Who do you think wins that recruitment war? <laughs> they won't follow you. What do you want, John? Right. The laptop. Seems like the perfect time. You don't know for sure it was him, so now what? They know the cost. I value loyalty above all else. You know who's gonna have a tough time being loyal now? That guy. Just keep her busy. I have to sneak into her office to get it. And uh, it's all yours. Yep. Getting it for my old buddy Bruce. And only you. Promise. I'll make a plan. Stop! Yes! That was a good one! Hey, you two! What's going on with you guys? Harley! What a surprise! You guys get me a black site location or not? The answer had better be yes, Harley. We didn't find the location to the black site yet, but we did uncover the code name for whatever you're after. Project Lotus. Ring any bells? And what is Project Lotus? What do you want? Shouldn't you be informing your men they work for me now? You? You can't even keep these two from colluding. Pudding? Are you kidding me? He's loyal to a fault. I'm loyal, Harley. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Because I want to be. Because I'm being myself. The mole, Bane's men, you... Maybe, possibly, potentially can't handle it alone. <laughs> you have a problem, and I want to help. You time out. And you, we need to talk.
Bruce, Bruce, Bruce. This here's one of my favorite toys. Helps me make boring things into pretty things. Can you be a smart guy and guess another one of my favorite toys? Come on, you can do it. You mean your hammer? <laughs> Good guess. But no, it's John. You two are getting a little too close for comfort. So I'm making a new rule. Hands off. Point is, John's mine, and mine alone. So don't play with my toys, or I'll bash in that pretty face of yours. Alfred, get a suit ready for drop-off. Of course. Was your accomplice successful? Looks like. I'm on my way to meet him now. Alfred, keep the drones on alert. They're online and overhead, sir. Don't let your guard down. <sighs> He's here. telling me not to do it, and then the bat on the other whispering, Just get it, John. <sighs> or did you have the halo and Harley the horns? You must run across this in your line of work. How do you deal with doing something good when you might be hurting someone you love? Because it certainly didn't feel good. Quite the opposite, in fact. I serve the greater good, John. I can't let my feelings get in the way of that. If someone I care about is on the wrong side, that makes them my enemy. A black and white world. <laughs> so much easier to parse. I did bring the thing, by the way. Don't you worry. Perseus, I bring you the Gorgon's head. So... Is Batman happy? You, you look pretty happy. Well, I'm happy. I did something for you. Maybe you uh, could do something for me. Like? Teach me. Anything. What about those uh, boomerangs you have? I promised to only use it for, uh, you know, s hero things. Probably. <laughs> Please? Pretty please. Fine. <laughs> so awesome! Battering. Long range weapon. Effective. Dangerous. Nailed it! Dead on! Your turn. On my hand. Oh gosh. <laughs> my hands are sweating. Use your free hand to help you aim. It'll follow your elbow. Don't overthink it. Just throw. Yeah. Oh, dang! It's okay. Practice makes perfect. Can I, uh, can, can I keep it? No. <laughs> Working with you, Batman, it's just been... <laughs> wow! What I meant to say is, uh, it's, it's been an honor. If you ever need someone to watch your back, you know I'm good with a batarang. And I have a lot of guns, too, if that helps. This is exciting. A new leaf. To new beginnings. It was a pleasure working with you, John. 
Maybe we'll do it again sometime. I'd love to... Uh, oh, uh, yes, yes, of course. Uh, have your people call my people. Do you have a cape guy? Because I was thinking about updating my look. I'm your man on this street. Literally. Selena. I had nowhere else to go. I guess I was a fool for thinking I'd be safe here. <laughs> Maybe we should just start from the beginning. What happened? I'm glad you're here, Bruce. Miss Kyle is injured. I've dressed the wound as best I can. I trust you told him about your motorcycle accident? I was just about to. I hope you don't mind me tending to her wounds. I couldn't turn her away. Not in her condition. Not at all. Thanks for taking care of her. You've been so good to me, Al. I don't know how I would ever repay you. But of course. I hate to ask, but would you mind giving Bruce and I a second to talk? How can I refuse? I'm worried about him, Bruce. I'm pretty sure he's on the verge of a nervous breakdown. And you don't want to be the one who pushes him over the edge. You're right. He's been off lately. I'm glad you're aware. You're lucky to have each other. Whoa, what are you doing? Relax. I'm just changing out the bandage. Be a doll and hand me a clean piece of gauze. Been through two dressings already. <sighs> there. Good as new. So, do you want to tell me what really happened? We both know you didn't get this from a motorcycle accident. I was ambushed by your friend Gordon tonight. Thought you knew. You and Gordon are so tight. He must have mentioned he was coming after me. Yeah, I heard. He told me he was coming after you. I suspected as much. Why didn't you warn me? I thought we were... friends. I never thought you would give me up. Not to the cops. I... I honestly don't know. I know you're confused about a lot of things right now. I was just hoping I wasn't one of them. Listen. This little game we play... You know I've always enjoyed it. The tit for tat. It's fun. But tonight... You've taken it too far. Way too far. How can I make it up to you? You can start by giving me access to that laptop. I know you snatched it from Harley. Well, why is the laptop so important to you? I wanted to get payback for Riddler. On my own terms. I let my temper get the best of me. But this is bigger than my vendetta. I want to find that black site, before they do. The laptop is useless without Riddler's decryptor. Good thing I brought it then. You have the goggles too? Not so fast. What are you offering me in return? You know when it comes to me, nothing is for free. You give me the decryptor and we will crack this code together, I promise. Okay, I'll give it to you, but on one condition. What do you want from me, Selena? I want you to admit that you need my help. I want you to say, Selena, I need you. 
I can't do this without you. Say it and it's yours. Selena, I need you. And? I can't do this without you. No. You can't. I didn't expect this. This is nice. So, what now? Are we gonna crack Riddler's laptop together or not? I'm out on a line here. Don't leave me hanging. Uh, come downstairs with me. What's downstairs? You'll see. I thought I'd seen it all when I found you hanging with the sewer rats, Bruce. This place. It's really you. Rich men and their toys. Only thing missing is a wet bar. The cave shields my tech from surveillance and gives me direct access to Gotham's waterways. It's perfect. <laughs> yeah, but it's so isolating. Like the whole world is just closed off. I know how hard it is to let people in. The fact that you've done that, it means a lot to me, Bruce. I didn't give a damn about anyone else until I met you. You're a bad influence on me. You say that like it's a bad thing. It definitely makes life more Being here, with you, I came back to Gotham for a little redemption, but I didn't expect to find it next to you. It's nice, the way I feel around you, like, like I can be better. Do you maybe feel the same? I'm gonna kiss you now. Is that what I think it is? What is my stuff doing on display in your cave? Alongside mementos of the psychopaths you've locked up? Not that you're normal by any stretch of the imagination, but... And there I am. Right next to Harvey Dent. This has got to be good. I keep items from friends and foes. Reminders. Never took you for the sentimental type. I keep a memento from each of my cases. Uh, did you want them back? Hold on to them. They look kind of nice there. Tea for two is served. Alfred, thank you.
Decryptor detected. Accessing Sanctus Project Lotus files. Retinal scan required. Let's try this again. Access granted. Bruce, whenever you have a moment, I have something to show you. The back computer will scan for viruses and other safeguards before we can have access to the data. I finished up a new feature for your contacts. Lucius nearly completed it before. But, well, I've been fiddling with it to keep myself occupied. Uh, at any rate, your contacts now have the capability to detect heat signatures. Cold, too, because uh, with Mr. Freeze, you never know. Thanks. I'm sure it'll come in handy. I'm impressed you felt close enough to someone to welcome them into the Batcave. But I'm curious to know why. What is it about her? Not that I'm judging, mind you. Difficult to take it back at this point. But, um, well, maybe you should keep an eye on the more valuable items down here. You know I can hear you two, right? <clears throat> ah, it's done. Sounds like the laptop is safe. I shall be upstairs if you need me. Good luck. Look at all this data. Finally, something we can read. Let's see what he knew. Invoices, schematics, design notes. Riddler must have been talking about the location of the black side. His obsession with data left us an incredibly thorough paper trail. Look at these manifests. Bodhi Spa. Strange place for a delivery of virus incubators. This must be what Riddler means by hiding in plain sight. Patient 843. 10 milligram injection at 0.01% solution. <laughs> Patient 844. 10 milligram injection at 0.015% solution. God, what is that? Human test subjects? We have to find what they were giving those test subjects. the agency. Sounds like you owe her a phone call. Bruce, to what do I owe the pleasure of this call? The agency was working on a virus with human test subjects. Bruce, what on earth? I just saw it with my own eyes. How do you... is that what Quinn's after? Yes, I found the black site, hiding in the middle of Gotham at the Bodhi Spa. Okay, okay. I promise we'll get to the bottom of this. But I need you to trust me. Meet me at Wayne Tower in 15. I'll tell you what I know. Harley was asking if the goggles are ready. I'll go back to the subway, see if I can keep her busy. Thanks, Selena. Benefits of partners. Be safe, Bats. You too. Tiffany, what are you doing here? Running late today? I expected you earlier. I needed to talk to you, but... I'm sorry, Bruce. 
This is for your own protection. Hands behind your back! On the floor, now! On the floor! Get down! Bruce Wayne, you're under arrest for armed robbery, murder, and criminal conspiracy to commit a terrorist act. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. Don't hurt him! Uh, thanks for the call, Miss Fox. You've done a good thing today. You lied to me! You need to stand back, or we're gonna have a problem. Bruce, I'm so sorry. I didn't expect them to be so... violent. I just wanted them to get you away from those nut jobs. This is my fault. We will talk about this later. What in the... Director Waller? Uncuff Mr. Wayne right now, or you'll spend the rest of your life as a meter maid. Mr. Wayne is under agency protection, and you know it! What? You've known it for some time. Waller and the agency? They're not always gonna be around to save you, Wayne. One day, you're gonna run out of favors to call in. And when you do, there'll be hell to pay. I'm not a criminal, Gordon. Save Officers, it. please! I... He's involved! He belongs in a cell! This is neither your concern or your purview. Go home, Gordon. You're done here. The hell I will! If I were you, I'd be very careful with my next words. And if I were you, I'd stop interfering with GCPD business. This is my city! Not anymore. You're so far out of line, you can't see the truth. You're dismissed. Excuse me? You tested me. This is what happens. Damn it, Waller! You can't do this! It's well within my power, and you know it. Waller, Gordon is a good cop. He's a good man. Don't do this. Not from you. It's the last straw. I won't allow anyone to question my authority. This is strictly professional. Oh, sure. Time to go, Jim. We'll make sure Gordon leaves, and be right outside. When you're ready. I apologize for everything. Calling the cops was a bit much. Well, you wanted a chance to talk to me, so here it is. Talk. I just don't understand. How you got tied up in all this? The agency? If I had known you were... What are you doing with them? Please, just tell me, Bruce. Look, Tiffany, I'm... an undercover operative. What I'm doing... it's dangerous. Thank you for telling me. I see now, though. This is why he's dead. He was involved in whatever you're doing. This work you're doing seems incredibly dangerous. But there's something I don't get. Why you? I mean, no offense, but you're just... Bruce. I'm Batman. You're Batman. The Batman. Come on. I got something to show you. Hey, Bruce. Wanted to show you a preview of your new bat suit. I know you and Alfred are still on your well-deserved retreat, but I couldn't help myself. Dad. I'll upload the specs to your private server. All right. Hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. I'll see you soon. It was hard to believe, but hearing it from him, 
Your dad was a hero. Your dad believed the city deserved better. He believed in me. And to think I gave him lip for missing dinner sometimes. With dad gone, maybe I can still help if Batman is interested. It's the least I can do. And I know my dad would be proud. You'll need the proper training. It's a dangerous job. Whatever it takes, I'm in. That's good to hear. Okay, I need to digest. Sorry for everything earlier, but thank you for trusting me with this. I'm only saying we might be pushing him too hard. He's capable and he knows how to cover his tracks. Our only path forward is through Wayne. <clears throat> oh, let's get to it then. I know you have some questions. A few. Care to explain why the videos I saw said this virus was an agency experiment? Years ago, I was brought in to rectify the agency's past mistakes. Or failing that to cover them up. One mess in particular dealt with black ops experiments. Human subjects. The kind of amoral science that makes your skin crawl. Sanctus. They were a division that was shut down for good, long before either of us joined. But evidently, they went underground. This is our worst case scenario. With Sanctus off the leash, this research poses a global threat. If I'd known where they set up their den, I would have taken them out years ago. If you want them taken out, now's your chance. We know right where they are. It's not that simple. Sanctus was dangerous then. They're certainly worse now. This whole situation, it's given me an idea. I can't put an agent within a thousand yards of that place without them starting a war or blowing up the entire block just to cover their tracks. We know it's tricky, but leading Harley and her gang into Sanctus might allow the two problems to take care of themselves. They have Riddler's info. They have a way in. And you're undercover with them. At least with Sanctus and the Pact at each other's throats, the agency can act quickly, clean up, and minimize casualties. It's unorthodox, but a strike like this will keep damage from spilling onto Gotham streets. You two can't be serious. Harley, Bane, Freeze, no, they can't be trusted. We don't have to trust them. We trust you. Look, for now, just go and check this place out. Right now, as yourself. We don't want them to know Batman is on their tail. I bet you're the type of guy who has some expensive surveillance equipment. We have your back, Bruce. We'll be right behind you. Keep me in the loop so I know what my team and I might be facing when it goes down. Defenses, security, whatever. Their lives are in your hands, Bruce. As well as the fate of this city. I know you might have reservations about working with Harley and her crew like this. Sometimes you have to use bad people to do good things. I think so. While you were at the office, I did some basic online research on the Bodhi Spa. Excellent. What's the verdict? According to reviews, it truly seems to be a fully functioning business. Uh, not just a front. Couldn't tell from the service entrance. They offer rather popular high-end massages and have an active social media feed. It's a 24-hour business, Bruce. There are customers going in and out at all times. They have no idea what's coming for them. There's no way to tell until I get in there. I'll proceed with caution. Initiate the feed of my contacts to Waller. Let her know I'm here. At once. I need to see what we're up against. Good idea. Remember, you're able to toggle the thermal imaging in your lenses. I'm signing off while you speak with Director Waller. Be careful. Thanks, Al. Waller? On the line, Bruce. I'm here. I'll let you know if I find anything interesting. Caution is key, Bruce. 
This situation is a spark away from a wildfire. I'll keep that in mind. That access door is connected to the spa. Huh. Project Lotus. This is definitely the place. Bodhi Spa. Good work, Bruce. They weren't exactly being subtle. That appears to just be a patron. Looks like we have a receptionist behind the front desk. She's hardly anything to worry about. All too easy to hide a gun under that desk. There are still traces of heat signatures. Someone was here recently. Maybe guards. They're heading downstairs. The real lab must be underground. Sanctus has been in the middle of Gotham this entire time. They burrow under your skin and eat you from the inside out. This is why I'm willing to let these criminals be the tip of the spear. Dangerous and expendable. My favorite adjectives. see a security panel inside the building. It could trigger an alarm system of some kind. If I can hit that before they suspect what I'm really here for. They'll be blind and helpless. Perfect for my people. You just saved a few agents' lives, Bruce. That's some top-notch field work, Bruce. I know being undercover's been tough, but you just need to maintain it a little longer. If you don't get inside with those maniacs, we're going to have a pandemic on our hands. Waller, I need to go. Now why would a billionaire be skulking around in a filthy alley? Carefully inspecting every detail. I could ask you the same. Oh, I'm not skulking. I have a very deliberate purpose. My Bane, have you been spying on me? Spying? No. I've only been keeping an eye on you. That's the same thing. I heard the GCPD paid you a visit at your office, so I swung by to see if you might be in need of some aid. Innocent as that. Then, something about the look on your face as you left. So, determined. Yes, I had a sense you would lead me to something interesting. Project Lotus. This is the secret you and Harley had. Where are we, Bruce? What is this place? And do your best, to be honest. This is it. The black site Riddler wanted to hit. So this is what Harley was trying to keep secret. She didn't know. Strange that you're here after a run-in with GCPD in an alleyway with the other rats. Finding you in this duplicitous position while we have a mole problem. Well, it does not look good for you, my friend. When you wake up, you can tell Harley that you led me right to her conspiracy. Wake up. Rice and shine. Hurry! Hold your horses! Oh, I pity what you're about to face, Wayne. You did the right thing, telling me about the black site. But there's still something about you that gives me pause. Something that casts a shadow over your heart. Harley wanted to spearhead the hunt for the mole. This will be her chance. So, be thoughtful with your words in there. They could be your last. Thanks for the warning. I'll be careful. I hope it's not you, Wayne.
But if it is, I'll kill everyone who shows up for your funeral. What is it now, Bane? The rat has been uncovered. Wayne was right under your nose. I tracked Wayne to the location of the black site. And if he had I a... sent Wayne to scout it, so lower your damn voice. It was the final piece of the puzzle, and now we got it. Go get your boys ready. We move on the site ASAP. And don't worry your pretty little head about our rat problem. I got it covered. And Bane! Tell Freeze to get one of them popsicle makers ready! You're not going anywhere. You're in here. With me. Thanks for backing me up. Don't mention it. Can't have him stepping on my turf, you know? I said I'd find the rats. And I will. Your father. He was a hard man, right? Someone lied to him. Betrayed him. He ended them. Think he was onto something with that idea? Show no mercy? Take no apologies? That sort of thing? There's always another way. Killing someone isn't an answer. The son of Thomas Wayne shies away from spilling blood. You are who I think you are, Bruce. Who do you think I am? A man out to prove to the underworld he's just as bad as his dear departed dad. Or there more to the story I should know? Hidden depths? Secrets you don't want me to see? I also enjoy long walks on the beach. Hmm, you're funny. Must have gotten that from your mother's side. You know, my dad could be a funny guy, too. And they all fell down To the deep to drown To the dark to drown He used to sing that to me. My dad. Made me feel safe. Like nothing could hurt me. Now, he's just a glimmer in a maggot's belly. Same as we'll all be someday. In fact, you being like my dad, that's why I got such a soft spot for you. Oh, you do? You found me the black site, didn't you? Plus, you're not a bad guy. I mean, you're rotten like the rest of us. But you actually care for some people. Like that girl John told me about. What's her face? Uh, Brittany? No. Tiffany. You remember? Early 20s, fresh faced and optimistic. How am I doing? I'd kill to have a friend like that right now. Yeah, friends are great. Except when you have to lose them. Laptop's gone. What are you? Yeah, Shaka. We have a turncoat. I've interviewed just about everyone in the place. Except maybe one. Or two. So gosh, that only leaves the two people I haven't cleared. You and Catwoman. Maybe it was the guy who Bane gave the hamburger face. But weirdest thing, the laptop went missing after that. John, get in here! When I told Puddin I narrowed it down to you two, he begged me to let him interrogate you. I gave him some pointers, and now this is his chance. Hi, Bruce. You potential rat. Have at it, John. Harley, uh, do you mind? Can't learn to ride with training wheels on forever, you know? I'll be right outside. Admit it, you rat scum! You're the... the rat. <laughs> Sorry, I have to make... 
make it sound good? Do it again. What? Hit me again. Take that! You're hitting him already. I'll let it play. Done. Catwoman has to take the fall. Think about it, Bruce. Harley's gonna kill that Tiffany girl if it's you. There is no scenario where we are letting that happen. I knew that'd be your knee-jerk reaction, but this is the only way out. The only way that keeps you alive. Did you even stick up for me? I tried, Bruce. I really did. I said it loud and clear. You know, Harley, she's not a mind reader. I'm sorry, I'm not as strong as you. Well, I'll get through this, Bruce, but I don't see a lot of options that end too great for you. It's either you or her. What do you want to do, Bruce? She knows it was one of you two. She knows. And don't think I don't feel just awful about this since you know i stole it can't help but feel a little bit responsible all right time's up perfect because i'm done you got a confession great job puddin who are we hanging out to dry go ahead bruce tell her what you told me come on go ahead bruce it's okay just like we talked about. Please. It was me, Harley. I took it. You were just starting to get under my skin. Too bad. I guess I do have to hurt Tiffany after all. And you, of course. I knew you had it in you, John. We are gonna do terrible things together. Like, send this one to the great icebox in the sky. Well, Bruce, it's been fun. Bane, get him inside. You can let the cats out of the bag. Bruce! Bruce is in deep trouble. Harley, be reasonable! <laughs> Why would I start now? I can help. You need me! Yeah. Once you're an ice cube, I can use you to keep the vodka cold. Wait! Harley, as great as this is as a punishment, not Bruce. You can't. He's... He's, he's my best friend. Aw, Puddin. That's sweet. So... Maybe we can let him go? Live, at least? Nah. Be sure to send Tiffany a postcard from Antarctica.